They just uh, issued uh, this uh, uh, weak uh, illegal resolutions by the parliament. Uh, we have I've been calling this parliament Qasim Soleimani's parliament, and it is. And it continue to be, the only difference now is the parliament of the uh, terrorist killed uh, Qasim Soleimani. He's dead now. Uh, this parliament was, uh, was uh, elected in a forged, uh, unconstitutional, illegal elections. 20% uh, or less of the Iraqi people participated in these elections. All results were forged by Qasim Soleimani to install his own people and militias. Uh, Iraq is a parliamentarian uh, s political system by the constitution. With this kind of parliament, we cannot continue. I've been calling for dissolving this parliament since the beginning of the revolution. Changing a prime minister, changing a president will not solve the problem unless we dissolve this uh, parliament. Uh, I've been talking to parliamentarians, uh, Iraqis, for the past uh, week or so. Many of them decided not to go. Many of them decided to boycott. The Kurds are not going. Many others are not going. I doubt today they had the, the legal quorum for this, and, uh, for this resolution. We have about 325 uh, members. They claim to have 167, which is barely half uh, of the number. Uh, uh, it is it is uh, insane for a country fighting terrorism to refuse support from Western uh, allies and the United States uh, to help against uh, in the war against ISIS, just to satisfy ailing Khamenei. Uh, now they are chanting inside the parliament uh, in favor of Qasem Soleimani, who is not an Iraqi citizen, carrying his picture. I'll send you the video now. It's a shameful page in the history of Iraq. Uh, I think the United States should withdraw its uh, its acknowledgement of this government. Adr Ahmadi shot himself in the foot. He went to the parliament today in spite he was he never showed up uh, for this uh, for any parliamentarian sessions uh, since the revolution. Uh, which started on the 1st of October. Uh, he, he was hiding and, and, and sending people to kill demonstrators. He, he did not fulfill any of their demands. There's a refusal to Qasem Soleimani's symbolic uh, funerals in the Shia land. In Nasriya today, they, they, uh, they made a symbolic uh, funeral for Qasem Soleimani. The demonstrators uh, stopped it. Uh, denied its excess and uh, they shot life bullets on the demonstrators, uh, killing uh, or shoot, injuring four, one is serious injury. Then the demonstrators were able to burn the car carrying the uh, symbolic coffin of uh, Soleimani. Then they went and burned the militia's headquarters, the Al Hash headquarters in Nasriya. So there is, the Iraq now is divided between the massive Iraqi people, 40 million, and a few thousands of militias who are, are basically presidents in their parliament, and they claim to uh, control the country or represent the country. That's the, there's, I cannot even call it a divide. It's a divide between a vast, vast majority with a, with a very small minority of a few thousands funded by the Iraqi government, two billions. I mean, yesterday's Qasem Soleimani's funeral showed who is in part of this militia, and they don't exceed more than 20,000. With two billion dollars, I can get you two million people to get out. They couldn't even pull more than 20,000 yesterday in his funeral in Baghdad. So this is the situation. I think the United States should really uh, d d deprive Iraq of its uh, legitimacy and uh, d sanction this Iraqi government immediately. One more thing I may add is that the current government is a caretaker government. We have to remember 
this government was overthrown based on the demands of the demonstrators. It did not come on its own. It happened because of pressure and hundreds of demonstrators died and killed by security forces and by militias with collusion of uh, Abdul Mahdi's government. So this government is a caretaker government. It's, it's, uh, it, it has limited powers and it should not be uh, uh, allowed or it's not legitimate for this kind of government to pass such an uh, important resolution. I just got an update also. None of the Kurds have participated in this uh, in this uh, uh, vote, and they have not attended the parliament. None of the Sunnis have participated, except for two or three Sunnis. They belong to uh, Khamis al Khanjar, uh, the terrorist who's been sanctioned recently by the Treasury Department. And I am getting more confirmations that there was no enough number for a quorum to pass this resolution uh, and uh, the, therefore the whole thing is illegal and unacceptable and the United States should throw this uh, resolution as an Iranian a proxy operation against the United States and the world and uh, the only benefit, beneficial from this operation are uh, terrorism whether it's from ISIS and whether from Iran. Thank you.